you guys have single-handedly destroyed this man. Hold a rock is in shambles talking about how the PS5 Pro is going to be a day one purchase. Really? That's funny coming from a PlayStation fanboy such as yourself. And what's even more laughable about this situation is the fact that it's going to have the same teraflops. And all they're really doing is increasing the GPU. Essentially, what they're doing is overclocking it. That's all they're doing. And the funny thing is, you can do these things entirely free on PC, but... If you do overclock something on PC and you mess something up, you could destroy what you have. So Sony's essentially paying you because they overclocked the PS5? That is it? And you people want to justify paying $200, $300 and a, another additional $80 for the, ver what is it, the vertical stand and the, and the disk drive? Bro, you know what, man? It's official, bro. Like, that's crazy that we talk more about hardware in regards to Sony than video games. You're going to get the beautiful fidelity and graphics. And bro, you're not getting anything, bro. People have stated that the screenshots look the same. It's the same exact console. Of the PlayStation 5. And what's funny, if there is a resolution boost because they did not change the CPU, guess what that's going to impact? That's going to impact the performance of your games. Matter of fact, PS5 Pro, they might even have games run worse. Because when you increase the resolution, see, what you people don't understand, frame rate and graphics and fidelity going hand in hand. So when they're talking about increasing the GPU, putting extra ray tracing, PlayStation super spec through the resolution, and all this other nonsense, these marketing terms that they want to use to you ponies, well, guess what? That's going to make your games perform worse. Now, I do think they're going to stay within what they're normally, the bounds of what they uh, normally a PlayStation 5 could do, but it's going to be so futile. It's going to be pointless. There's really no reason for it. But now at 60 frames... And with many if that was the case, they would increase the CPU, not the GPU. Of the stuff that's added to it has new technologies, has its own AI. And what's even more laughable, they're comparing this to a 40. Now, bro, nah, just calm down, bro. Please, man. Just, just calm down, bro. Like, y'all doing too much, man. It's a $700 device that's not going to do very much different than what the device that you currently own. There's no reason for this. Okay? Stop this, bro upscaling known as PSSR which is supposed to provide performance um, it also has the new RDNA 4 ray tracing so now you're going to get even better ray tracing oh so my god the thing bro I didn't even notice the ray tracing before oh no now we're going to finally get the refle reflections that they promised that are the pros going to bring to the table when compared to the PlayStation 5 the problem is now uh -oh. is, and you probably noticed on the internet, everybody is for whatever reason throwing PC onto the table. The funny thing is, PC has always, generally, in terms of performance and technology, been the better machine. You can always upgrade it. You can always have parts. You can upgrade a CPU. That's not know. true because PC gaming was actually hard to do these things back then. Like I've had PC gamers tell me, like back then, they could understand as to why most gamers would play on console. But the problem is, it's become so much accessible and easier throughout the years that PC gaming became the new norm. You feel what I'm saying? I think a lot of PC gamers in the chat can tell you, man, like the whole driver system, games running on different operating systems. Back then, it was very hard to be a PC gamer, man. Most PC gamers, well, fanboys won't tell you that, but it was very hard to be a PC gamer back in the days. Now that it's so accessible, bro, it's like, it's, it's night and day now, man. It's it's a build, it's a piece part built system and stuff. But once again- That's exactly what your console is, a PC part built system. Why do you think it's made with... Bro, you know what, man? Why do I make these videos? <laughs> it is AMD. What do, you, what, do, what do you think AMD is? The PlayStation 5. Now, why? It's because of this. The announcement that it is 700. Whoa, bucks. holy Toledo. Now, if you watched my channel for a while, I said from the beginning from the rumor of the PS5 that if the PlayStation 5 Pro is supposed to be worth its weight in salt... It has to be more than $500. Yep, and you stated that. But the problem is people ain't noticing that with the screenshots there, Jimmy. See, that's what you don't understand. I don't think people have a... See, me, it's not the price tag. Y'all like, what? It's not the price tag. Personally, it's not. It's the fact that you're paying $700 and there's no difference. That's the problem. You're paying for an upgrade and you can't even see it in your own games. Right? The current PlayStation on, 4 man. Slim... I mean, PlayStation. Wolverine 5. got so mad at it, he even put three, look at that, three marks on the side of it. That's why you got those three lines through your gaming console. 
Five Slim is four hundred and fifty dollars. This Prius Sapphire Pro, and the reason why I use the Slim is because the four hundred and fifty dollar one is the all digital one, right? Because this right here is all digital. In order to make it with the disc, wow. you have to buy the disc separately. So I'm comparing this to the you know the discless version of That's the PS4 crazy. or the PS5. But the PS5 all digital is four fifty. This is seven hundred. So you're talking about a two hundred and fifty dollar difference in performance or whatever. And that's that, not including tax. That is what it's gonna take to have that noticeable difference. To take what the PS5 can do and then now run the game at sixty frames, improve ray tracing. Well, they've already told you that most games are still gonna be capped at thirty, bro. Where have you been, man? See, this is the problem with you ponies, man. And y'all be talking about oh, they just wanna see PlayStation fail. No, we just laughing at your ponies, bro. We don't want to see PlayStation. I don't want to see PlayStation go anywhere. But it has more to do with the fact that we are laughing at your stupidity. That's what it is. We're not laughing because we want to see PlayStation 5 go under. We're laughing at the fact that you people don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, the PS5 Pro is more powerful than a, a 4090. Bro, come on, man. Come on, bro. You can look up comparisons online and you can see the difference, bro. Stop. Just stop it, bro. It's like that dude with the clock. Stop. Where's your parents? Where's your parents? It's time to stop. And potentially improve better settings and better clarity. That's um, the main concept about this, right? It's not about trying to outperform a PC. It's about outperforming a PlayStation 5. Let me give you an example and it's of what not. I'm talking about. We'll use Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, right? So in quality mode, it's a dynamic 2160p, which is 4K at 30 frames per second. Um, the common... Uh... But I thought this game was already... Hold on. See, see, you see? Now the lies are all starting to come out. You see what I'm saying? On 2160p with temporal reconstruction. So in order to get to 4K, they use temporal reconstruction. That, which, that's is, all... which is laughable because that's not native 4K, but okay. The, you, know, the, you know, the trickery to get that... Um, clarity look right so the textures the scene and everything is at 30 frames if you look at the right dynamic it goes down to 1440p but it's at 60 fps because that is the priority the priority is the frames right but yeah can... but the temporal reconstruction see what you people don't understand right there's a graph it says 16 20 to 11 that means it drops Okay, and that's probably why people say some of the visual qualities and performance mode in this game looks very ugly at times because it goes from being pretty and ugly, pretty ugly, pretty ugly. It's like it's like it's it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't know. It'd be it'd be better if it was just capped at a certain resolution and then try to run the game at 60. Personally, like, but this fluctuation of resolution and frames is what's making these games look and play terrible. Okay. That's the problem. Look at this. It's common temporal re reconstruction, which essentially means that the resolution is constantly changing. So it could be 1620 in the main menu, and as soon as you get into the game, it's dropping 1248. Okay, there's a lot of things going on. Now it's dropping to 900p. That's kind of essentially what that means. There's a graph. It says 1188, but we don't know that for sure. You see, it is a lot blurrier than the left. So with the PS5, these are your two options that you have. This is what you have to deal with. You get the nice clarity and quality image, but at 30 frames, or you can play the, the buttery smooth 60 frames, but you're going to have to make a lot of concessions. Now, we have... I think that's good. On, from John Lenneman of... Um, that's, that's Tom Warren. That's not John Lenneman. Of... Uh, uh, oh, my God. Oh, there it Digital is. Foundry. He already has, and their Digital Foundry already has a PlayStation 5 Pro, and they already tested it. And from his comment, this is what he says. Wow, yeah, FFS7R looks a lot better on the PS5 Pro. Night and day difference. I actually put off playing it due to other things happening. It says, but I'm going to uh, skip some of the fun. But the Pro will finally push me to enjoy it. Image quality was just too awful on normal PS5. So now the game is, is going to run the way it's supposed to? I thought the PS5 was supposed to do all these things, man. Like, I don't understand how now all of a sudden now the PS5 is getting exposed for not being as powerful as they claimed it was, right? The whole 4K60, or we're not playing games in Vaseline mode. These are things that people have mentioned, and y'all just sat there and downplayed it. And now we're starting to find out that the Pro is going to single-handedly fix all these problems, right? You see, that it's just a hypocrisy. And what's even more funny, it's still not going to be 8K, and it's not going to be made native 4K resolution, and you're not going to be running that many games at 120 frames unless they're last generation or low-demanding titles. So at the end of the day, nothing has really significantly changed. At the time of release, but the Pro will finally push me to enjoy it.
PC, right? You know, was you know, you just want some. Oh yeah, don't worry, don't get a PlayStation Five Pro. Just pay eight, nine hundred dollars. You get this PC so much better. And then when the person gets it and it doesn't really have the bells and whistles of the PC, and we're not talking about two, three, four thousand dollar PC, right? Generally, most PC gamers that got a PC, they generally spent at least fifteen hundred to eighteen hundred bucks. Those, that's where the window. Well, is that's at. what you spent buying nothing but these garbage consoles. Oh, I, oh, what what games did what you say? Five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars if you bought the slim, and now seven to eight hundred dollars for that. That's the fifteen hundred that you're talking about. Oh, oh! Now you're starting to see the scam of console gaming. Now you're starting to understand the appeal as to why PC gamers are telling you that consoles are stupid. Now, if you buy one console and you're playing games, then you're not stupid because then you understand the philosophy and the concept of a gaming console. Okay, at the end of the day, guys, I'm just here to play games, bro. I don't care about all this other stuff. But I'm just saying for people like you that are out there buying the PS5, buying the Slim, buying the Pro now, essentially just buying every device that Sony's throwing out to you, you could have got yourself a capable PC according to your own logic. That's where the sweet spot is. Even I could have. But the windows are. All these sub-$1,000 PCs that are being recommended are being recommended by people that don't actually have it. They don't actually have a $900 PC. They don't have a $1,000 PC. They actually have a 15, 16. And you guys have $1,800 worth of technology that's the, essentially the same thing as each other. Bro, I mean, at this point, if this is what you're doing, like if you're buying a PS5 Pro, you should just go to PC at that point. Because 500 plus the 700, that's close to about 13, 1400. You could have invested that into a PC. And I, I did a I did a, a a tweet, you know, on Twitter, X, whatever, asking people, don't recommend a nine hundred dollar build. Tell me what's your build. And the majority of the people that have builds were in the two thousand dollars. Most of them were eighteen to two thousand dollars. Very few So I what think, makes you guys think that this PS five Pro is gonna outperform a forty ninety? Maybe I seen one or two tweets where somebody actually have a thousand dollar build and stuff. But they didn't really care about graphics performance, and they didn't really bash the PlayStation 5 Pro to begin with. They really didn't care. They just said, yeah, I got a $1,000 bill and stuff. Right? So really, the the I, let me post something else. This is another good reference. This is Daniel Owens. He also, Look you at know. That. Advanced ray tracing, AI-driven upscaling. Uh, let me see. Super sharp image clarity. So what does this have to do with performance? You guys said that the PS5 Pro is going to outperform the PS5, but yet it, it says nothing about the CPU or the performance or the loading. It's 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 so funny how Sony says, oh, we like 60 FPS in performing games, but yet they, they threw out a upgraded GPU instead. This is not going to help the performance. This is this is to help with the graphical fidelity. Maybe what they did is that they feel like what they're fake wannabe 60 is doing and then they're gonna have the g this is good i i still think space marine is good i think people are right i think people are right i think space marine is still gonna run bad on the ps5 pro because like i said the cpu hasn't changed all they're doing is overstraining it and overclocking it this is not good bro this is not good so it's not it's still not gonna help with a lot of games so i think people was right about that when they mentioned that space marine will still struggle even on the pro there's a good Discussion on the PlayStation 5. They should have just upgraded the CPU, personally. Pro's GP. You know, a company that claims that we love 60 frames per second, then why did you guys focus on the GPU? So what do we know about the PS5 Pro? They've said they've upgraded the G GPU. They're upgrading it to a GPU that has 67% more compute units than the current PS5 console and 28% uh, faster memory. And overall, this enables up to 45% faster rendering for gameplay, making the experience much smoother. So the 45... You know, tell me what I want to hear, man, because I want to pick up my Pro. 5% faster rendering for gameplay is the really important... I don't know. Maybe it's better than DLSS. We haven't seen it yet. Maybe it's not as good. But that's going to, like I said, make this um, make, make this choice more complicated. Because if I go with a obvious choice, like an RX 6800, I think that in when we're not factoring in the upscaling technology, uh, you're basically spot on on the performance um, when it comes to that 40, 40 Forty-five percent performance uplift. So this would be absolutely spot on. It's also great value. It's, a, it's supposed to help keep the resolutions, and I guess the pro is essentially this is what it's going to do, guys. It's a, a, especially going to keep the resolution and the frame rate just a little bit more stable 
right? But the problem is when they start pushing for you know more graphical games and stuff like it's it's probably gonna it's probably gonna be worthless because all that strain. Like I mean, it, I, a lot of these games are gonna play entirely the same. So I, I don't see why people are going out there feeling the need that they need a PS5 Pro for this. We're gonna lose out on that upscaling, and that I think is significant and worth thinking about. If I went with something like the 3070 Ti. We're in a similar performance ballpark overall, maybe slightly slower, uh, and we get the AI upscaling. But the 3070 Ti only has eight gigabytes of VRAM, and a PlayStation has uh, has uh, 16 gigabytes of unified memory, and usually at least 12 gigabytes of that is He's like, Please keep telling me what I want to hear, man, because I want to pick up this Pro. It's available to <laughs> As VRAM. This man needs justification uh, for why he got to pick up the Pro. He he ain't even confident in Sony themselves. Like he got to listen to this PC wannabe and, <laughs> and him picking up a PS5 Pro. This, this is why console gaming is a joke. Means that the PlayStation 5 Pro can probably use texture settings and run at like 4K resolutions. Nobody um, knows that, and it's not going to run at 4K resolution. This is the problem. A lot of these fake wannabe PC dudes are lying to you because it gives them good at engagement to their channel. Look, you got 2.7 thousand likes. There you go. He, you know what I mean? I could do the same thing. I, I've had people tell me, oh, Gamester, you know, if you fall in line and the rest of these other content creators, you'll make it in this community. I don't care to make it. I care to make content the way I want to. You know what I'm saying? You think I want to be controlled? You think I want to and sit there and say, hey guys, it's me, James the guy. How is everyone doing today? We are talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro, and you should go get one. You think I'm going to do that? No, I want to say things the way I want to say it, okay? And I want to sit there and tell people the truth, and I want people to recognize that these things that you're falling into are scams. The PS5 Pro is nothing but a scam, man. And this guy knows it. That's why John Linneman, all you had to do is watch Digital Foundry's video on it and hear this. <laughs> John Linneman, why are you like? <laughs> of course, they're going to sit there and tell you fools, oh, yeah, you know, maybe you, you know, should buy it, you know. It would be more playable to me. You know what I'm saying, you know. I mean, of course, because they're getting views and engagement for it. But you think they really care about playing Final Fantasy Rebirth on this garbage PlayStation 5 Pro? No, they want to play it on their powerful PCs. But you console fanboys need, oh, we need that justification. We need that validation. You know, we need to be validated. When did y'all have to be validated by PC gamers? I thought y'all hated them. With settings turned up higher than what the VRAM capacity can handle on a 3070 Ti. So that means that the 3070 Ti also has its own, you know, caveat. You know, let's let's go watch a channel of a PC guy that just wants you to click on his videos. But let's talk about the PC guys that are telling you that this PS5 Pro is worth absolutely nothing. How about those guys? You know what I mean? That's what I try to tell people, man. You look for negativity, you find negativity. You look for positivity, you look for positivity. That that's just how the world, the way the world works. You know what I mean? You find fanboy topics, you find PC dudes that. Align with your console mindset. There you go. Now, five PC dudes that severely disagree with your opinion. Oh, what about them? Oh, they just hating. You know, they just hating on the pro. You know what I'm saying? They know the pro is more powerful than a 4080 or 4090. You know what I'm saying? TIs. GX, RTX, T's, GeForce, RTX, Radians. He is also hanging out here. In the same like, of- I swear, man, like, just the name of your hardware is intimidating, man. You know, uh, all you, like, I mean, imagine you got a PlayStation 5 Pro. You know, it doesn't hit the same. You know, these PC games be like, well, yo, what you got, man? I got me a Radeon RTX uh, Ultimate Combo. What what, what, the, what the, what is this, man? It's not like he talking about a Transformer. Like, what was this, man? The man just built out of nowhere. Like, what, what the Transformers, Robot PCs in disguise. Raw, 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 raw. Transformers, PCs in disguise. Is that, that's exactly what they are. Transformers, Transformers, Transformers. And console gamers are like, Transformers, Transformers, Transform us. We're not as powerful as you. Transformers, Transformers, Transformers. Transformers, Transformers, Transformers. You know, you got the PC 
gaming gods from the heaven talking to these little console peasants, man. They think they want they want to be a transformer too. Hey daddy, look at me. I got it. I got a seven hundred dollar forty ninety. <laughs> Performance class, but again, like the RTX eight hundred doesn't have an AI upscaler. Which means they don't that, need all that, bro. That's all marketing terms, man. That, that's blast processing power that we're hearing, man. Listen, I'm a huge Sega Genesis fan, and all blast processing meant was essentially that it ran faster than a Super Nintendo. That's it. It was CPU. That's it. It used the Motorola chip. There you go. That's it. You know, they got to use all these marketing terms for these ponies because they don't understand the, the technological aspects of a gaming console. So they got to use stuff like Super Saiyan Spectral Resolution. Like, I, I mean, what? Like, it's so bad, bro. I've heard of Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, and that was bad enough, but we got Super PlayStation Super Saiyan. What, what What's this? Like, what, Spectral... No, it goes Super Saiyan... Super... Hold on. Super Saiyan plus Super Saiyan. I, bro, I'm confusing myself. Man, I'm like that guy from Conker's Bad Fur Day. I don't know what I've been told. do 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 I don't know what I've been told. do 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 Another option would be going with the RTX 4070. Oh, get the RTX, right? Get the RTX. Of the PlayStation's unified memory that can generally get dedicated. Yeah, this dude looking for validation, man. You know, get the RTX, you know, PlayStation 5 Pro. It's, it's just as hard, just as high as the RTX Radian. Radian RTX 7800. What? It's really much better than the GeForce, um, you know, um, to, to 10,080p. What? That's a reason. I, bro, I don't know all these terms, man. Like, I, I heard from some of these people, but, bro, I don't be getting it, man. You know, we got the Radiant to, to, to 10, over 9,000. Bro, that's Dragon Ball Z. It's in Radiant over 9,000. RTXI. What? <laughs> That's why these console gamers would be like, they get brain rot listening to you guys. They got saliva dripping down. Like, <laughs> the VRAM. And it has the dude, man. Scaler. It's also more powerful than a 45% uplift. Um, also, I should mention this that guy's lying to y'all, uh, the man. PS5 Pro is also calling out advanced ray tracing. Yeah, I don't care about all that, man. Mr. Man with the glasses. I don't care about that. I want to hear. I want to see the specs on a piece of paper. I want to see it on a sheet, man. All this stuff that they say is irrelevant to me until we see the specifications for ourselves. I mean, it's so powerful, right, guys? It's so great and it's so awesome. But yet Sony is scared to show you the specifications of what it took to build this console. They want to sit there and tell you that it can do all these things. So, okay. Forget what, what you're saying, forget what, what you are saying, and let's see the spec sheet. And that's it. And then let's call it call it a day. But until then, I don't I it's irrelevant. I don't care. This is not a powerful platform. So it's uh saying that the ray tracing could be uh that could be. You hear that? Could be. I mean, you're going ba you're essentially what you're doing, you're going based off what they're saying. But the problem is you're going based off what they're saying and not what they're actually doing. And that is a huge problem with the gaming community. Okay, if we take this for face value, then yes, it sounds like the PS5 Pro could do much more. But if then you got to ask yourself, why did these screenshots and gameplay look the same? But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. Like I said, man, you ponies, y'all trying to become a transformer, 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 console gamer, transformers, 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 PCs in disguise. Round, 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 round. Transformers, PCs, and disguise.